Track and field now in Division II regional meets beginning today across the state in Dayton. Four field events in the 4x800 relay finals today. Coldwater ladies come into the 4x8 with a sub 10 minute time. That's just the third best though in the competitive region. Top four, of course, moving on to Jesse Owens next week in the state track and field meet. Head to Welcome Stadium. We'll begin with the field events and the girls discus. Ottawa Glandorf, Anna Bellman going 124 feet here. She would finish second. That is good enough to qualify for state. Van Wert's Alexis Dowdy spinning 116 feet. Dowdy would place fourth. She's going to state as well. High jump. Elida's Aubrey Williams clearing five feet. She would make the podium placing in eighth place. Go to the pole vault pit now. Shawnee's Jacob Thomas clearing 13 feet here. He would finish in ninth place. Ottawa Glandorf's Colin Lobenthal up next. Clearing 14 feet, 8 inches would place second behind a meet record 15 feet by Delta's Tyler Fraker. But Lobenthal going to the state meet. Girls 4x8. Versailles Madison Grillo finishing for the team. They finished third. They advanced to state. OG would come in seventh with Alyssa Ellerbrock running the anchor leg. Coldwater and Sarah Caney would come in ninth place. Head to the boys 4x800 as we see Caney coming across the finish line for Coldwater. And OG, Ben Wishmeyer would anchor fourth place finish for OG. So the Titans 4x8 boys going to state as well. Shawnee Zach Burton would finish sixth. Van Wert's Connor Schaefer would get the Cougars in eighth place in the 4x8. Finally, 100 meter hurdles prelims. And Ottawa Glandorf's Melissa Knott would finish fourth. So she moves on to Saturday's final as Kylie Schimmler would place 14th. Just a handful of results scored, but we do have results through day one. For the ladies, Wasion a one point lead over several schools, including Ottawa Glandorf. Lady Titans in a second. For the boys, OG currently in third place with 13 points.